guys, it's Annie, and uh, for the longest time, I have wanted an all-white Persian with blue eyes. Today, I'm gonna go to Santa Monica, and there is a Persian cat rescue adoption day. And if you take a look at my vision board right there, my dream cat is a white fluffy Persian with either blue or green eyes. I've wanted one since I was a little girl. I just really want that to happen this year, and I feel like lately I've been, you know, with the mindset now, is the best time. If not now, then when? So now is the best time. So I follow this rescue called the Designer Dog Rescue on Instagram, and they posted a photo of a cat that was adopted. It was white and fluffy and had blue eyes. So I'm like, oh my gosh, that's so cute. I really want a Persian, but this is pretty up to par. And I asked if I could get on some sort of list for future white fluffy cats with blue or green eyes. And they said that they had an identical one. She was at the Petco and Van Nuys. And I'm like, you know what? I have a feeling. I just should go do this. So we'll see. I don't know if this is the one, but we're gonna check it out. At least I'm like going for the goal. I just want a cute cuddly kitty, so. Hi, girl. Hi. Come here, girl. You're so sweet. Oh, she's so sweet. I think it's gonna happen. I just filled out an application for her and I contacted my roommates and they're cool with it. Cross your fingers. Good news guys, they messaged me back and said everything looks good and they're gonna try to have a volunteer come meet me in a few hours. So I'm gonna go home and hopefully all goes well. They still have to confirm with the volunteer so I hope it happens today. But just to be optimistic, I bought her a few things. I bought her a little laser light. I bought her some catnip mousies. And then I also bought her this comfy little cat bed. And I'm back home. The law of attraction slash just successful people in general say that if you have a goal or you want something, you need to behave and start acting like you would if you already had that. So therefore, I'm behaving as if I already had what I want. <laughs> Just gonna sit here with my cat bed waiting for a cat to be in it. I'm here with Haley. Ow! <laughs> We're here at Petco and I have a meeting with the designer dog rescue people. So hopefully this ends well and we leave with a kitty. <laughs> Oh my gosh, right there, thumbnail. What do you think? It's your home. She is very calm. What you doing? Louise. Oh, did I mention that her name is now Louise? I have no idea where she came from. I don't know her situation or what she's been through. It's okay, she's shaking. Oh. Okay, it is a few hours later. She's purring, she's happy, she's relaxed. She's letting me pet her belly, which is a really good thing, I think, because not a lot of cats let you do that. But I wanted to say one big thing about, uh, you know, obviously adoption. I wanted to adopt instead of buy a cat. I could have went out and bought a Persian, but I think that it's really important to adopt um, because there are so many perfect animals out there like her. Also, a lot of people go for kittens, but I specifically wanted an adult cat um, because usually they're already potty trained, you know, they have all their shots, everything's good to go on them, and you already know what they're gonna grow up to look like. But like, she's obviously perfect and an adult, so I know that she's just gonna stay perfect. 
good morning. It was our first night together. <laughs> and when I went to sleep, she was in this little bed right next to me. But now, if I'm right, I'm pretty sure she's right down here in this dirty drawer. Yep, there she is. She is hiding, but that's okay. Um, they say it takes a few days for cats, or even weeks, for them to come out of hiding sometimes. And she has not been eating food, but I just got her to start eating wet food from a spoon. There you go, what a good girl. And I'm getting it all over my pillowcases. Good news, I spoon fed her the entire can of cat food. Good girl. Bunk cam on a tripod. So we've had Louise home for almost 24 hours. She is pretty shy. She likes to hide a lot, but I think she's gonna be okay because when we do have her out, she purrs and she like, you know, makes little biscuits with her paws as they call it. I actually didn't know her backstory when I got her. So I texted the rescue today. They said she came from a hoarding situation where 29 cats were in need. Her owner purposely bred the cats for their looks, all originating from a single cat he took in eight years ago. Uh, he was actually going to sell Alara Louise to a breeder before we stepped in. Alara was her name, Louise. Okay, OMG's Louise. That is her Instagram, OMG's Louise, if you wanna follow a rescue cat. That's really cute, go follow her. She's gonna be very active. Oh, Hi Louise, OMG's Louise, what are you doing, girl? She's like, leave me alone. <laughs> Oh, there she is. So, she likes to be, if she's out, oh, look at her, look at you. She got this cute purple glittery collar, oh. They do say to let them hide and come out when they want, but you know, we're making a video here. So when she's not in her hiding place, she likes to be in her little bed. Let's get her to purr real quick. Purr louder. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Her full name is so <laughs> Louise Biscuit Smodowski. <laughs> That's your name. Again, I got her from Designer Dog Rescue. They didn't ask me to make a video, but I thought I'd put that in there because the adoption process was actually very, very simple. Like, as you guys know from this video, I went in there just randomly, almost kind of. But it was like a really big impulsive thing I did yesterday, and by the end of the day, I took her home. And it was only $80. Then of course I had to buy the supplies. It was a little over $100 for those, but that's not that bad. She's my emotional support cat. If you guys uh, think Louise is adorable, give this video a thumbs up. Tell us in the comments how cute Louise is. Go follow her on Instagram. Say bye. Say bye, Louise. Oh, there's her blue eyes. Okay, that's all. We'll see you next time. Oh, I'm so excited. All right, bye guys.